If I had to sum up today's entire video in a single word, it would be betrayal. Obviously, there's a lot going on right now, but I feel like this situation has flown under the radar and it needs to be addressed. Online beef is one thing, but when you make it physical, it's never okay. But first, welcome. My name is D'Angelo and pretend I just said the rest of my intro. All right, so today's drama is literally insane and it involves two influencers that many have followed for quite a while, one of whom you should definitely be unfollowing after this. So the first person is Gandalf or Gandalf the Grey as he goes by online. And here's the crazy part. The other person is actually Gandalf's mentor and former friend, Saruman. And now Saruman and Gandalf have this big back and forth beef. And honestly, it's giving by sister. Anyway, this all started because Gandalf reached out to Saruman for a collab. He wanted to get together and make an anti-Sauron commentary video. And for context, Sauron is this other guy who got banned by literally every platform for being problematic. Like seriously, the way Sauron fell off needs to be studied. But of course, because cancel culture doesn't work, Sauron still has a career influencing people. People keep reposting his vibe, and so the internet is now full of this weird Sauron energy. It's like no matter how many times Andrew Tate is arrested, he still has podcast appearances and all these fanboys, that's Sauron. And that's why Gandalf was like, we need to expose this. So Saruman responds to Gandalf's DM, and he's like, okay, yeah, let's do it. Just swing by my place and we'll go over the receipts. But then when Gandalf shows up, Saruman's like, psych, actually, I changed my bio and now I'm a Sauron supporter. And I'm sorry, but supporting Sauron in 3018 is not it. But even without that context, just switch up on your best friend like this during a collab is genuinely unhinged behavior and all just because you want some additional clout but here's the part where it gets completely unacceptable in the written version of this beef like they're back and forth online saruman claims that things just got heated and so he had gandalf escorted out of his mansion but in true influencer fashion gandalf was actually secretly recording this entire time and so he leaked the footage of what actually happened as you can see Saruman straight up attacked Gandalf. Like there are people on Reddit right now trying to debate who started this. And I'm like, not the victim blaming. Yes, recording someone without their permission is not cool, but maybe don't invalidate Gandalf's trauma because of it. Like, how are you gonna live in Middle Earth and not see the middle ground of the situation? Anyway, Gandalf hasn't posted since this happened. So that's basically where the story ends. But yeah, this is extremely uncool behavior from Saruman. And I, I can't wait until we never have to hear his name or Sauron's name ever again. But that's my take on the situation. Dave's take is that maybe none of this would have happened if we would just stop giving people like this attention. And I'm of course excited to hear your take. And if you're wondering why this was a Lord of the Rings drama commentary video, then I'll be honest for a second. I'm having an incredibly difficult time thinking about real people and the things that they say and do and the world that we all have to live in because of it. So this is about as good as it's gonna get for now. I'll try turning my brain back on again tomorrow and I hope that's understandable. Um, Thanks for watching, bye.